Hey everybody, I am SkyHigh14 and today we're going to go over how to make RGB buttons on GIMP using GIMP just like this. See how cool that looks? So let's go over it. <clears throat> All right, so if you have the GIMP program here, what you need to do is download the files. So what I did is I went on YouTube and I went to the Elgato page and go to this one that says how to make Elgato Stream Deck RGB because you're going to download the uh, link here, RGB templates. So you, click, you download it, which is down here. And once it downloads, I usually go show one. And this is what we downloaded. Now to extract this, you right click. You go down to extract files. And then you, you save it to your desired drive. So I'm going to go here in the D drive. Hit OK. And then... If I go into my folder section, right here, it should be right there. Stream Deck RGB. Open that file up, and this is what you need to start off. Okay. Then we're going to go into our GIMP, and then we're going to start the video from there. Perfect. Where's GIMP? All right. So you're here on GIMP. You, you want to open the files up. So what I. So what I do is I just have it here. I like to open uh, different windows. So let's see, I'll go into my downloads because I want to get a picture of uh, the button in the middle. But you know what, let's go back and just to open up as a window. See if we can do that. Open in new window, there you go. That way you have two of them side by side. <clears throat> let's go download, go down to open up our stream deck and this is what we need perfect so i'll just have them by i like to have them side by side so first we're gonna uh import our graphic so let's say we're making like a twitch button and these you can make on the elgato software that comes with the stream deck so let's say i want to make this one let's make this this twitch one here our obs you can do the obs one yeah so we're going to do it what we're going to do is going to drag it on here then you're going to go back to your downloads for RGB keys, and then you're just gonna drag and drop it there. Okay, and then that should populate the frames and all that good stuff, okay? Now, here's where it gets kind of tricky. Uh, what you wanna do is you wanna make everything the same size. So you're gonna go down to the last image, which is usually your your button picture here, you're gonna hold shift and you're gonna click right here to chain link them all. So now all like 100, 100 links are, are linked together, okay? <clears throat> then you're gonna go up here to image. You're gonna go down to fit canvas to layer. You click that, okay? Then remember to unlink. So hold shift and click, and then click that out of the way, all right? Now uh, you're gonna go to your resizing tool you need to go, you're going to hit re uh, scale. You're going to rescale this so that it fits inside the black part. So we're going to go there and just resize it just like usual regular GIMP there. Uh, that's okay for me. And then you're going to hit scale. Okay. Now here, uh, you got to make sure that one of the frames is the size of the canvas and, and also the, um, the uh the picture of the obs picture so you're going to right click on the obs picture and hit layer to image size okay so that makes everything equal and then you got to do one of the frames also same thing right click on the frame hit layer to image size there you go and then now we can go to the filter go to animation and we can blend it now so we're going to hit blend now make sure you, uh, you put the frames to one and then click this out of the way looped uh, max blur radius to zero is okay. One, zero, and then off click the loop here and then hit okay. And then your computer will do its thing. Uh, it takes some time depending on how fast your computer is. I think on GIMP, I have it on, on, on an HHD. Okay, it's done there. Now, here on the right side, we're gonna have a lot of like um, blanks, OBS, blank, OBS, blank, OBS. And if we leave it like this and animate it, it's not gonna look right. This is how it's gonna look. So if you go to filters, animation, and hit playback. Let this load up. We hit 
See, and that's how it's going to look. And we don't want that. See, it looks all funky. So here's the tedious part. You have to delete all the all the blank ones. So I usually go all the way to the top and then just delete the frame. Uh, I use Control X, but you can do it manually by just right clicking and then hit delete layer. Right, so you're just deleting that layer. So you're gonna delete all the blank ones. I just use Control uh, X, so that's faster. So that, that's what we're gonna do. So it's like a little tedious, but it gets the job done. If you, if, I'm not a perfect, I'm, I'm a beginner on GIMP. So if there's a faster way to do this, please let me know in the, in the comment section down below. I'm still new to GIMP. I, I'm still learning. I'm not a artist or, you know, graphic designer or anything. I'm just a noob. I watch everything on YouTube and uh, yeah, I just learned from there. Self-taught with the GIMP program. And I think we're almost done. Perfect. All right. Now we have just all, we deleted all the blank ones there. Okay. Now, once you delete all the blank ones, you're ready to go back to filters, uh, go back to animate, uh, actually animation. Yeah. Go back to animation and then go down here where it says optimize differences. You hit that and now it's going to, um, reboot everything. Cause we did delete some scenes. <clears throat> so again, the wait time is down here. I'm going to see how long it takes and it all depends on how fast your computer is. All right. 60 seconds has passed and then we're about to end there. Perfect. It is optimized with the differences. Okay. Now we can go to, uh, filters animation and test it out now with the playback hit playback and see how that looks. It should look how you want it to look. So I'm just going, we're going to hit play and perfect. That is what we're looking for. See that there? All right. So now we're ready to export. So we're going to go file. You go down to export as or export, whatever. I use export as. I'm going to call this uh, OBS RGB RGB red. And then remember, save it as a GIF or I'm sorry, GIF. And then you know, make sure you save it where, where you want it. I'm going to save it under uh, GIMP. I have a GIMP folder. I'm just going to export it there. Now here, uh, uh, you can do interlace. Well, what that means is if, uh, you're going to place these buttons like on a website or whatever, and, uh, someone's internet is not that good and they can't, uh, and the quality is really bad. This helps out with their, on their end, it'll, it'll still show up even though they have bad internet or connection. Uh, make sure you put anime as animation. Okay, and then I like to keep this at 100 milliseconds, so keep that there. And then use delay entered for above for all frames, so click that. Make sure you, you have that on, then you hit export. Okay, and there it goes, and it's saved. Now we can test it out here. So if you open up your Stream Deck software, which is right here. Hopefully my computer isn't, there you go. And then uh, you click the one you want. Uh, so click this one and then uh, set for the one that you did. So I, I look for the folder that you put it on. I remember it's called OBS RGB red. So that's the file we're gonna use. So we're gonna go to the one we did right here, OBS RGB or I put RGN, but it's okay, red. Hit that, click okay. And that's it. You will have an, a button that is RGB. I wish I can, I can show you uh, an example of how it's going to look once you do it on GIMP. Uh, my Instagram. Ooh, look at that food right there. Perfect. <laughs> and that's how it's going to look. Just like that. Now you have RGB buttons. 
So it is kind of a tedious process. You will have to do it for each and every button that you do, but the end result is really nice. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If, uh, if you didn't, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. And hopefully it was informative. If you want me to do more of these on GIMP, any kind of like stream related uh, items, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.